Hey, welcome back to Lakeshore RV Center. Gene and Jerry, I have your new Outback 332 ML travel trailer. We're going to quick take a look and learn more about it. Up front, you've got a molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in. There is a three-year structural warranty on this camper from Keystone. Down below, you're going to have a little switch that is to control these LED lights built in. We also have a new 12 volt battery, battery box, and 30 pound propane tanks all filled up and ready for you. You do have the 7.3 auto leveling system. I'm going to show you how that works when you come to pick up. It's pretty self explanatory, but I also have a video that will go into far more details on how it operates. The tankless water heater outside has a quick on and off switch. We do have some storage on your bedroom slide out. That is going to have right now a sewer hose, some electrical adapters, a quick connect blue coil shower hose, and a 50 amp service cable. That's about 25 feet long. Pull valves for your gray and black tank and a let off for those. And then we're going to have another one coming around down low underneath your big slide out. Command station here is going to have that connection for the outside shower. Key TV system for cable and satellite. I'll send you a link for that as well. Going into more details and then we have these configurations for using the water in port. So you'll be able to hook up a fresh water hose, bring it in from the bottom, connect, and right now as we can see it is on city inlet to tank so this is going to fill your onboard holding tank now we'll be able to use the water from the tank and then you also have a black tank sewage flush it's this guy right here so when you're all hooked up to dump your black tank after it's emptied you can hook up your fresh water and that will spray some water through that tank to help empty it down low you've got a uh, little white valve that is sticking out that is to empty your onboard holding tank for your fresh water. Pop the caps off of the bumper in the back to hide your sewer hose. A place to hook up your 50 amp service cable. A ladder to access your serviceable walkable roof. And it is prepped and ready for a backup or observation camera. With that 7.3 auto leveling, we don't have any buttons along the back or the side uh, to open the uh, jacks down. So you're just gonna use that at the front power tongue jack little red and blue valves hanging out there that is to empty out all of the water in the systems uh, for winterizing it you do have marine grade speakers up above and a power awning with led lights and a front pull out tray for additional storage we do have a little led light here with the push button to turn it off and your 15 amp controller for your solar system you do have a little latch to let go of the storage door, and it is a slam latch. So go ahead and let it drop down. Cable and satellite hookups and power outlets outside if you want to hook up a TV. Sorry we got parked a little close to the post here, but you do have that outside kitchen that you saw uh, when you came to look at the camper live and in person. Little night light, and that will be on this control panel. It's going to be right there. You have a water pump. You'll only need that if you're using your onboard holding tanks. And then we do have a check for fresh, battery, black, and gray tanks. And then you do have your heated blankies for when it's cold out to keep those holding tanks warm. This will operate your furnace and your rear AC. So you'll be able to go through and find the setting modes just by pushing this black tab until you find the heat or AC that you want or just a fan. The only issue I tend to have with customers on operating this is sometimes it will lose its battery and it will go into Celsius mode. If it ever does that and you want it back to Fahrenheit, just hold these two up and down arrow buttons in for about three to five seconds. It will reset to Fahrenheit. Oh, what a gorgeous camper. I can't wait for you guys to come and enjoy it. So we've got your electric fireplace up and running. CD, DVD player above with radio and that big TV. On the fireplace, you'll be able to control the flame colors and settings for temperature. And then it also has a timer to shut it off as well. 
Come along here, we've got your CO2 and propane detector, uh, output for the furnace, fuse panel and breaker box, some great storage, and power outlets. Come in the kitchen. If you find a light and you can't find a light switch, touch the light. It probably has a button on it to turn it off. Roll away sink cover, and we do have your keys here for you. Three burner propane cooktop has a glass cover, so you're going to flip that over once. One more time. That will give you access to your three burners, and then uh, you'll be able to operate that. Click, click, ignite for all three burners and stove. It's pretty LED lighting. Nice big oven underneath. You do have a latch on your 12-volt fridge. When you're transporting it, keep it closed. Otherwise, keep it out of the way. Nice and cold in the fridge right now. Hood fan and light, and then, of course, your non-turn microwave and a place for a little bit of storage. We do have an um, vent above. I'm sorry, lost my train of thought there. AC is built into the ceiling and duct, and then you have overhead speakers as well. There is a little light switch. Everybody goes, what's that for? That'd be for the LED lights on the booth. You do have a handle lock here that will come down and allow this table to drop and extend if you want to use it for sleeping and of course storage underneath both booth seats recliners are manual so you're going to be able to pull that little tab and kick back and relax hide a bed trifold sleeper sofa all right let's go and see the rest of this gorgeous camper oh real quick we forgot we do have uh, controls for temperature on your tankless water heater and independent buttons for all your slide outs and your power awning. Foot flush on your porcelain toilet. Nice big neo angled shower. There is a latch strap for this to keep it nice and secured when you do go bumping down the road. Nice big medicine cabinet. And then of course you do have some light switches on the wall here. One for the fan above and of course for the bathroom lighting. Your big king size bed slide out. Absolutely gorgeous. Great storage up and underneath. And the little doggy kennel. And then you are prepped and readied for a second AC on this 50 amp service unit. Great storage underneath. A wardrobe and washer dryer prep closet if you ever want to hook that up. All the blinds are pull blinds, so just give them a little tug and they'll zip up on their own. And then you are prepped and ready for a TV in the master bedroom. I know you guys are going to put one in there, so uh, you are all ready for having that. And that is your new Outback 332 ML. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. If you have any questions, give me a call. April Welch, 231-788-2040. We'll see you guys real soon.